This castle hath a pleasant seat. Where the most brilliant haunt I have observed, the air is delicate. See, see, our honored hostess. Where's the Dane of Cardinal? To his home before us. Very noble hostess, we are your guests tonight. To make their audit at your highness's pleasure, still to return your own. Give me your hand, conduct me to mine host. We love him highly, and shall continue our graces towards him. If it were done, when tis done, then twere well. If it were done quickly, if the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch, with his securing success, but that this blow might be all and the end all here. But here, upon this blank and shoal of time, we jumped alive to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we but teach bloody instructions, which being taught, return to the plague the inventor this even had a justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips he's here in double trust first as i am his kinsman and his subject strong both against the deed then as his host who should against his murderer shut the door not bear the knife myself i have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition, which o'erleaps itself and falls on the other. He has almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Have he asked for me? No, you not, he has. We will proceed no further in this business. Was the hope drunk? Wherein you dressed yourself? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would? Like the poor cat, I the added. I dare do all that become a man. Who dares do more this none? When you dares do it, then you are a man. And to be more than what you were, you would. Be so much more than a man, nor time nor place. Did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They had made themselves, and that their fitness now. If we should fail. We fail, but screw your courage to the sticking place, and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey. Soundly invite him his two chamberlains. Will I with wine and wassail so convinced that memory, the water of the brain, shall be a fume and the receipt of reason, a limp back only, when in swinish sleep. Their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I perform upon? The unguarded Duncan, what not put upon? His spongy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our coil. Bring forth. Men children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? I am settled and bend up, each corporal agent to his terrible feet. Away and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know.